everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Ruby. And today, before we go to the next route and uh, get the next gym uh, unlocked and able to battle, let's go over here. And we are actually ready to catch a new Pokemon. Now, whether or not it takes a while, I'm actually just going to cut to it because it is kind of a rare encounter rate. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I find it. Alright guys, we found it. This is going to be my new team member right here. So, yeah, we got Tropius here. And hopefully I have some Pokeballs. Let me just check real quick. Yes, we do. We have six Great Balls. We should be able to catch it. Um, we're going to use Gust real quick. It shouldn't take it out. Masquerade ain't that powerful. So yeah, we'll do about a third. Razor Leaf. Pretty good grass type move to have on it right off the bat. Obviously it does nothing to me. Um, we'll just use a couple quick attacks and hopefully... That'll be all we have to do to it. I don't want to risk a critical hit or something. So yeah, let's do this. Alright, got a critical hit on us, actually. One more quick attack. Actually, I think I'll go with one more here, just to make sure it's in that red zone. There we go. And we are ready to catch this guy. know what my sixth team member is going to be, but when it came down to it, I wanted someone that can fly, um, and, you know, be able to counter fighting types at the same time. If you did not know, my other two team members I was considering was Absol and Chimeco. I was going to consider both of them at one point, and when it came down to it, Absol, I didn't want to use because it's another Pokemon weak to fighting, basically my whole team already is. And, um, Chimeco, I don't really have a good reason for, other than, uh, I kind of just wanted to fly on my Pokemon, and, yeah, I wanted an easier way to get around, so, yeah, I just wanted something that had fly, um, able to be learned on it. So here we go. Yeah, Traino, I'm gonna learn fly here. Uh, very nice to have on him. We're gonna get rid of Sweet Scent, because that move sucks. Of course, you guys know that for Masquerade. I got rid of uh, Sweet Scent on my Masquerade as well and taught it Scary Face, level 33. Did a little bit of that off screen grinding, not too much, but a little bit. Um, let's see if you can learn Steel Wing. I doubt it, but maybe. You actually can, not bad. So, um, I'll just teach it that for right now um, instead of Whirlwind, because Whirlwind stupid. So, there we go. We'll teach it a couple moves off the bat. Um, and yeah, it should be go to, good to go right now. We will get Giga Drain here in a little bit. Let's see if anything can learn Thunderbolt. I'm actually not sure at all. But yeah. Um, no, nothing can learn Thunderbolt. Well, picking that up was kind of a waste of time then. Alright, anyways. Uh, let me do this before I forget. Let me go to my bag. I'm going to go to items. Yeah, I want to put the experience share on Traino here. So there we go. Yeah, if you do not know, Tropius uh, grows levels pretty slow. So, because uh, the growth rate on him is super slow. So, yeah, we'll have to put the experience share on him. Let's go over to Route 120. And, yeah, let's do this. Alright, so, yeah, for new Pokemon you can find here, you can find Absol. Very nice. Um, 
I was going to use him, but I don't want my whole team to be weak in fighting. As you can see, I already have two guys weak in fighting. So, not really a good idea to have half my team weak in fighting. Um, so, yeah. Let's uh, bring out Laren here. Or Laron, what the heck? Laron for... What the? First patch of grass I walk into? And it's a Lanoon. Alright, let's take him out. I don't feel like getting into a whole ordeal with this guy. Come on, let's go. Hit your iron tail, there we go. You're going down. Or not. And by the way, I'm not running away from it because I know I'm slower than it, so it's really no use. Just gotta battle with it real quick. My apologies, you know, you can't walk through two patches of grass in this game without fighting a Pokemon for some reason. So there we go. Yeah, Trainer's gonna be sucking the experience off my team, unfortunately, but we, we don't have to level him up too much to get him caught up. We did find him at a pretty good level, level 27. Um, I actually need to check his nature after this battle, but... Um, here's a Swablu here. Very nice. Uh, let's just go with a Rock Tomb. There we go. And yeah, we'll be finding the Evolved form of Swablu in the gym. That the gym leader uses as an ace Pokemon. Altaria's pretty pretty strong, so we got, we'll definitely have our hands full in the upcoming gym. But I feel like we can do it. So let's go over here and see what's going on. So over here, let's talk to Steven. He says it's been a while, but we just saw him last time. So that's kind of a lie. But he wants us to show the true power. Um, our true power as a trainer. And here comes the invisible Pokemon who's blocking our way. So here's Kecleon, level 30. Um, it's not too bad, I guess. You can, you can catch it if you want. Um, I'm just going to use Rock Tomb on it. And then I'm going to do my classic uh, Rock Tomb and then Iron Tail combo on Kecleon that I usually do whenever I'm using later on. So yeah, it's color change. makes it change the type that you just use as your attack. So, for example, if you use Rock Tomb, it's going to switch to Rock type. And almost every time you take advantage of this by just using another move that's super effective and there he goes so yeah just be sure to use that color change to your advantage because you easily can um and i'll take that guy out and yeah after you do that he'll give you the devon scope which allows me to be able to see those guys um more often i guess so yeah and i killed it by the way because you get way more chances to catch it even though i probably won't catch it anyways but yeah not really a big loss for some reason, they put one of the spots, uh, you can find Kecleon behind this. I have no reason why they put it behind the sign. There's nothing over there. But, whatever. Um, we already faced this trainer right here. So, yeah, with that in mind, guys, um, we, can, we are now free to go to the gym. So, let's go ahead and do it. No reason to heal up. I didn't really lose any health, so... I am going to speed up the trainers in the gym, because for the most part you'll just find the same things. You know, like uh, Skarmory, Tropius, Swello, Swablu, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to speed up these battles, and I'll see you at the gym later.
Alright guys, so we're ready for Winona, the Fortree City Gym Leader. Obviously she's going to use flying types and she has a pretty good variety of them, so we're not going to be able to just rely on one Pokemon this time. I'm actually not sure who she leads off with, but I assumed it was Swellow and there we go. And Swellow has this really annoying move called Endeavor, so I'm not really sure I want to use Rock Tomb off the bat because... Um, what it'll do is leave it with a little sliver, sliver and then uh, that'll be inspected on me, so I don't really like that. Aerial Ace gets a critical hit, still does nothing, obviously. A Metal Claw hits, very nice. And we do get the attack boost, that's what I was hoping for. Alright, so we can just hit this Rock Tomb here, which should be good. Um, please hit. Nope, not quite. Alright, we're just going to sit here and wait until we finally hit it. Alright, so thankfully we hit it on the second try, which is pretty good. And there we'll go Swellow after the attack boost and everything that will easily take it down. Um, so Tanu, gain some experience with this Traino. And here comes Altaria. This is the one I gotta worry about. I'm pretty sure it has an Earthquake, so I'm a little, a little scared, honestly. That is gonna use Earthquake and just demolish Tanu here. But let's hope it doesn't do that. Alright, so we get off the Rock Tomb. With the attack boost, it should do a lot. Um, over half. Very nice. So that will lower its speed, but it's kind of at neutral now since we use Dragon Dance. And here comes Earthquake. Will Tanu be able to survive it? Not quite. Dang. Alright, so down goes Laron. Huh. What to do? I'm really wondering what to do now. Alright, let's go over to Loudred here. Um, I think I'm just going to use Strength. I use this Dragon Dance. I could have used Howl, but I kind of want to take this thing out. So let's hopefully do that. Thank goodness we took that thing out. Loudred, you're awesome. Um, if we didn't knock that thing out, I don't know what we'd have done, honestly. Alright, so we got a Pelipper up next. And let's just stay in. I think we can feeling a little bit more confident now. Alright, so here comes Pelipper, and we're going to use Howl. And yes, that's what I was thinking on it, using Protect. So now that it's protecting up, we can take this time to boost our attack while it's being a pansy. So, we get a couple attack boosts. Now I'm hoping, um, yeah, see Water Gun, like, that's nothing. Nothing to worry about, really. And it's going to be a full and use Protect again. So, that just gives us room for another Howl. Um, and I feel like uh, she'll use an attack move this turn. So I'm going to go with Strength. She did use Protect, but it failed. I could have used another Howl if I wanted to, but this might be able to take it out. Not quite. Alright. So here comes the Hyper Potion. Pretty sure actually the first one. So Yeah, she'll have one more left after that. She's a Facade here. Um, they, they basically do about the same. Alright, so she's just wasting Hyper Potions for no reason. Um, I think she ran out of things to do. She does have Super Sonic. Not sure why she's not using it, but whatever, I'll take it. Facade will knock it out. And last up is Skarmory. Um, not exactly what to do against... I'm not exactly sure what I do against this thing. Um, let's try to go for Super Sonic here. Oh no, Sand Attack. We'll be lucky to hit this thing. No. Super Tonic's not going to work. So, I'm just going to try to howl more and more until I get some damage on this thing. <laughs> I just really don't want to switch out right now because I have a bunch of howl boosts. Um, well, we probably will eventually. Here comes the Steel Wing. It does a lot. Um, so, we now have five howl boosts, and I'm not even sure that strength will still do anything. Um, here comes the Steel Wing. Can we at least hit it? No, we can't. Come on, man. Accuracy and luck have been playing with has just been horrible. Absolutely horrible. So we're going to heal up a couple times with Soda Pops. I don't really know what this is going to do, but... I guess heal up a little bit here. Alright, back up to 96 hit points. Kind of just wanting to get through my Soda Pops and maybe buy some more later. Gosh, Steel Wing definitely does a lot. I'm just trying to hit it with one strength. That's all I'm, all I'm asking for, honestly. Come on, just one. Dude, are you serious? 
Is this some kind of joke or something? I don't understand. Like, just because you got hit with a couple of sand attacks doesn't mean you have to miss every single time, I swear. Alright, hyper potion time. <sighs> I don't want to use healing items, but Jesus, man. How many attacks am I going to miss? Just ridiculous. Alright. Come on, man. Just hit one. <laughs> That's all I want. Please. Thank you. How hard was it? See? It does a lot. But now, unfortunately, I have one more Hyper Potion. I might as well use it. Maybe Steel Wing will miss or something. I mean, the opponents never miss. I do. But totally fair. Aerial Ace obviously will never miss. But Steel Wing does have a chance. And of course, not if you're the opponent, though. Alright, come on. Hit it. There we go. And I'm pretty sure she used all her healing items. So even if she does take me out, which she will, with some other Steel Wing here. It's not going to heal up, so I think we're fine. Alright, so after that long and drawn out session there, let's go over to Masquerade and hopefully pick up the victory here. We're going to intimidate it. Slow Earth attack. She's a bubble. <laughs> let's take out Skarmory, the almighty Skarmory with a bubble. Wow. Man, that's just pathetic, honestly. I'm pretty sure it won't even take it out here. I just really want to get the victory at Bubble. It'd be hilarious. Jesus, how weak can you be? <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, one more. Take this boy out. Alright, so Bubble picked up the victory on Winona here. Pretty tough battle. Um, that earthquake just devastated my lair on, which I was hoping to use more, but we'll take the victory. Loudred MVP of that as well. You already know Echo takes down these gems like they're nothing. He's absolute MVP. And, yep, there we go. We got the Feather Badge. Allowed to use Fly Outside of Battle. And we get TM40, which is Aerial Ace. So there we go. And that move is pretty good uh, strength-wise, but its big thing is it never misses. So pretty good move. Alright, so guys, I'm going to go heal up and then I'll be back. All right, everybody, so after, since we're done healing up right now, um, I think that'll be the end of the episode. Um, pretty tough gym leader fight there, but we got it done, and with that being said, I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good day.